Good morning, guys. It's November 21st. It's a Sunday. And I thought it would be cool for you if I make a week in my life video. I think a lot of you might be interested how a week in the life of a postdoc looks, what I do on a day by day basis. So today I'm actually going to attend an online symposium I'm signed up for and I also need to run some experiments. So right now it's around 9.30ish and I just woke up. I'm in a bit of a hurry because the first symposium talk starts at 10. So obviously it's an online symposium if I don't quite make it by 10. Can always jump on at 10 15 or something i am now showered and dressed and on my symposium call i am on i think a session about careers in government science all right it's now 11 30 and i'm about to head out the door i've got my card i've got my mask i just did my daily screener which i need to do every day to get into the university building and experiments are waiting It's now shortly after 1 p.m. and I finally set everything up for my experiment and I now have some wait time and I'm back on one of the symposium sessions and I will start actually running my experiment at 2 p.m. But I have to be here right now. It's a wait time where I have to supervise the experiment and babysit it. And yeah, I will start running the actual experiment at 2. It will take about 2 hours, I think. Then there's another 45 minutes of wait time. And then I have to wrap everything up, which will be another 45 minutes. So I guess I will be out of here around 5.30 today. So it's now 3.30 p.m. and I just finished my experiment. I finished a little bit earlier than I had anticipated and I now have a 45 minute wait time. I'm still sitting in on the symposium. All right guys, I'm finally back from the lab and it's now 5.50. I have been cooking for the last 40 minutes or so. I made some curry. It's sweet potato curry because I had a huge sweet potato and I also warmed up some garlic naan. All right, it's now 9.30 in the evening and I have been editing videos since after dinner. So since around maybe 6.30 p.m. and I'm still not done. So I have more editing to do. I will probably keep editing till around 10.30 and then go to bed. And I will see you tomorrow morning for the next day of my week, which will be Monday. It's Monday morning and it's 8 a.m. right now. I am currently trying to get ready while I'm uploading a video at the same time and I need to be out of the door by 9 to run experiments. So I've 
one experiment going on from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. today and one from 2.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. All right, it's actually 6 p.m. at this point and I'm back home. I completely forgot to film anything after we were done with our experiments. We were done around 3.30 or maybe more like 3.50 p.m. And then I had some MATLAB code to debug. So that's what I have done for the past two hours or something, debug some MATLAB code. And then I came back home. I'm currently making dinner. And after dinner, I will decide what else needs to get done today. It's way past dinner at this point. It's almost 10 p.m. and I'm already in my pajamas. So I'm about to go to bed. I did some more MATLAB coding after dinner, like a teeny tiny bit, because I really wanted to figure out the issue I had with my code earlier. And then I did some video editing. So now I'm about to go to bed. And that was my Monday. See you tomorrow for my Tuesday. It's now Tuesday morning and it's 7.45 right now. I am all showered and dressed and ready to head out of the door. And I usually don't go to work this early, but I need to bring some equipment from our lab to our in-house workshop to get it prepared. And we agreed that I would drop it off at eight. So I really need to get going right now. And yeah, after that, it's a full day of experiments and writing, I believe. And I will check in with you later today. It's about noon right now. And I did some lab work this morning. And then I did about an hour and a half of writing in the library. And I'm now on my way back to my office to do more experiments. So yeah, we will do some more experiments from around noon to six. So at this point, it's 9.30 p.m. I actually got home around 6 p.m. and then had dinner, but I completely forgot to film anything. I got really focused on some MATLAB coding that needed to be debugged. I had dinner while I was working on debugging my MATLAB code and it's now mostly debugged. I have a little bit more to do tomorrow, but it's also 9.30 at this point. So anything else that should have gotten done just didn't get done. And I will have to deal with that tomorrow. All right, it's Wednesday 5 p.m. at this point. I was running late this morning and I had no time to film, but I was out the door at 9 a.m. And then we ran experiments from about 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at work. And then once I done with the experiments, I actually had to edit a manuscript that we want to resubmit. So I edited that manuscript. I sent the edited version to my co-authors so that they can have a look at it. Hopefully they get back to me soon so that we can resubmit the manuscript. were not like huge edits, but very small edits. And then after that, I continued to debug my MATLAB code. It's now mostly running. There are very small changes I still want to make, but yeah, it's very few changes that I want to make. But yeah, hopefully we get that up and running by the end of the week, early next week. And tomorrow is actually Thanksgiving and I'm the only person from my lab that's staying in New York City over Thanksgiving. So I will have to hold down the fort and yeah, wish me luck. So anyway, I now have to drop off some packages before I can't any longer because yeah, um, it's UPS packages, but even UPS will be closed for Thanksgiving. So yeah, I have two packages that I need to drop off um, with UPS. So I'm going to do that now.
I got my packages dropped off and then I had dinner and I also did some video editing and it's 9 p.m. now and I'm pretty tired but I might try to get a workout in before I go to bed and um, maybe try to get the thumbnail done for my video because it's supposed to go up tomorrow morning and I still have to film the outro which probably should have done tonight but I'm just too tired so I decided to do it tomorrow morning and then just edit in the outro and render the video tomorrow morning and then upload it. Good morning guys! It's now Thursday morning and it's Thanksgiving and I work most holidays but for once this Thanksgiving I do not work. I will work tomorrow and Saturday but not today. I have the whole day off and usually on my days off I tend to do some work but not today. Today will be work free. So I got up around 9ish, maybe 8.30 and then I was just bouncing around for a little bit and then at 10 I finally decided to film an outro to that video that should go up today. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. I found my outro. I had like um, breakfast, a coffee, all that good stuff. And now I'm going to get some more video editing done, edit in my outro, and then decide if I should film some more stuff today. Hello guys, it's Black Friday and I just got into the lab. It's about 11 a.m. right now, so I had a little bit of a late start, which I guess is fine because everybody else from my lab is on vacation. There are a couple of routine tasks that um, usually our technicians handle that I will have to handle today. Just teeny tiny things, but it usually adds, you know, 20 to 30 minutes to everything. And yeah, I will handle those and then I will run my experiments and I should be done by around 5 p.m. All right, guys, I ended up getting home from work around 5 p.m. And I did have plans for tonight. However, I was so tired that I ended up canceling them. And I think it was for the best. I just decided to call it a day and instead I took a nap and now it's like 8 p.m. already. And yeah, I'm cooking some dinner right now. And I think once I had my dinner, I might actually study some Japanese. And that was my Friday, pretty boring. Like I probably had the most boring Black Friday out of everyone. Hello guys, it's now Saturday and it's around 11.30 a.m. I woke up around 9 a.m. and then I got ready and I have been working on a manuscript for about the last hour, I want to say. And I'm now headed out the door to get to the lab and I will be running experiments for a couple of hours, do some smaller lab tasks that just need to be done. And because it's Thanksgiving weekend, I'm on my own. so. I'm doing all of them um yeah but it shouldn't take me too long maybe four to five hours so i think i will be back home around maybe 5 p.m and i will see you then 
As you can see, I have my little filming setup behind me and that's because I just finished filming a video. So yeah, I got home around 5 p.m. as I predicted and then I had dinner, I had a nap and then I filmed that video. And yeah, now it's about 9 p.m. and obviously I'm filming this video. But yeah, because my filming setup is already set up, I thought now might be a good time to sit you all down and to talk about a couple of things about my work that might otherwise confuse you. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. Why did I go to work on Sunday, Black Friday and today on a Saturday? Well. I am a postdoc, as you know, so I'm working in research and my research project requires it for me to be in the lab almost every day of the week. I can usually skip one day, but I can never take two consecutive days off. If I do it, I've ruined my experiments and I've ruined my research project and I'm just not willing to do that. So I usually work six days a week. I'm in no way a complete workaholic who just likes to work every day of the week. It's just, this is necessary for my experiments. This is necessary for my research project. I'm just doing what's required for the job. All right, apart from that, which is something I really wanted to get off my chest and something you might have wondered about, I really hope that you like to see how a typical week in my life looks. I think if you are a PhD student and you are thinking about whether or not to do a postdoc, this will give you a nice impression about what it's like to be a postdoc in neuroscience.